We crack you provide free mock test for SSC CPO exam for that you only need to google search crack you SSC CPO free mock test click on the first link and start the mock after completing the mock you get the complete detailed analysis with the solution and percentile for the mock hi friends welcome to our channel crack you RRB SSC banking exam in today's video we are going to discuss a topic from static GK from general science and the topic will be under physics in this 10 to 12 minute video we will be learning all the instrument and important fact from the subject physics that is important for your exam not just SSC but even for RRB NTPC exam and all other exams so now let's start first we will be discussing the instrument and then the important fact so let's begin altimeter what does it do it measures altitude and it's used in aircraft ammeter ammeter measures strength of electric current in ampere anemometer it measures the force and velocity of wind audiometer it measures the intensity of sound barograph it is used for continuous recording of atmospheric pressure binocular it is used to view distant object we all maybe have used this when we were small like in our childhood binocular bolometer it measures heat radiation calorie meter it measures quantity of heat chronometer it determines longitude of a place on an onboard ship chrysograph it measures the growth of plant dynamometer it measures electric power electrometer it measures electricity electroscope it detects presence of an electric charge idiometer it is a glass tube for measuring volume change in chemical reaction between gases galvanometer it measures electric current of low magnitude hydrometer it is used to measure specific gravity of liquids after that comes hygrometer hydrometer is other and hygrometer is different hygrometer is used to measure humidity in air hydrophones is used to measure sound under water chymograph it graphically record physiological movement that is blood pressure and heartbeat lactometer it determines the purity of milk manometer it measures the pressure of gas mariners compass so what does compass do it is used to determine the direction so mariner's compass is instrument used by seller to determine the direction odometer quite common we all have seen this in scooty bike cars it is an instrument used to measure the distance traveled by a wheeled vehicle phonograph phonograph is an instrument for producing sound photometer photometer is an instrument that compares the luminous intensity of the source of light periscope periscope it is used to view object above sea level that is it is used in submarine uses potentiometer it is used for comparing electromotive forces of cell pyrometer pyrometer is used to measure very high temperature rain gauge an apparatus for recording rainfall at a particular place radiometer it is used to measure the emission of radiant energy refractometer it measures refractive index saccharimeter as you can see the word saccharide that is saccharine sugar it measures the amount of sugar in a solution seismograph it measures the intensity of earthquake that is earthquake shocks salinometer similar to saccharine meter salinometer determines the salinity of solution speedometer it is an instrument installed in a vehicle to measure its speed sphygmomanometer it measures the blood pressure spirometer it measures the curvature of surface stethoscope it is used to hear and analyze the heart and lung sound especially by a doctor we all have seen this telescope it views distance object in space 
thermometer an instrument used to measure the body temperature thermostat it regulates the temperature at a particular point viscometer it measures the viscosity of liquid and voltmeter it measures the electric potential difference between two points with this all the instruments are done this all are the important instruments generally asked in the examination now let's see some important fact related to everyday physics that is physics in our day to day life speed of light is maximum in vacuum and it depends on the density of the medium so refractive density is important if the refractive density increases the speed of light decreases rainbow are always formed in direction opposite to the sun rainbow is formed by the scattering of light when rainfall and sun are together the sunlight scatters and forms a rainbow of vivgyor color and they are formed opposite to sun the frequency of visible light varies between 380 nm to 700 nm nm is nanometer 3d image is known as hologram human eye have convex lenses there are two type of lenses convex and concave concave they have a damp in inner side and convex they are bulged from the outer side so human eyes have convex lenses raman effect is related to scattering and for this cv raman received the nobel prize in physics optical fiber works on the principle of total internal reflection the first use of telescope for research was by galileo galilei air bubble in water behaves as concave lenses as because water has more density water the density of water is more than air heat energy are transmitted as infrared rays ammonia is used as a coolant in refrigerator eco forms due to reflection of sound the velocity of sound is increased with increasing density of the medium so unlike the light the velocity of sound increases with the increase of density in the medium so as compared to vacuum or air the sound travel faster in solid receiver of telephone converts electric energy into sound energy carbon dating is used in determining age of fossils wire of electric heater is made up of nichrome what is nichrome nichrome is a alloy combination of 80% nickel and 20% chromium heavy water is used as moderator of nuclear reactor what is heavy water heavy water is d2o the heavier form of hydrogen that is deuterium d 2o generator is based on the principle of electromagnetic induction what is the unit of electric power electron volt is the unit of energy mercury is the only metal which is liquid at room temperature filament of electric bulb is made up of tungsten fuse wire is made up of lead and tin so fuse wire is an alloy made up of lead and tin with this hope you liked it and if you did please like share and comment and yes we also provide all the previous year paper of ssc exams like ssc cgl chsl cpo steno and etc with detailed solution and the link is given in the description box below till then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for daily updates thank you